Should you have sex with a Hydra? Well, the short answer is no. I mean, just just look at these fucking things. They're huge, they're mean, they spew noxious gas, they... Well, I guess if you're into Vore, I mean, you know, that's... No, no, just don't, don't. But this video is a lot longer, so obviously I have more to say on the thing. Uh, if the internet's taught me anything, is that as human history has progressed, we've moved from trying to slay the monsters, you know, back in ancient times, to trying to understand the monster in the 19th and 20th century. And well, if being on the internet has taught me anything, is that here in 2016, uh, we're pretty much just going to fuck the monster. So... Yeah, a Hydra is just like this big, mean, old lizard thing. I don't know, it's it's 3.48 a.m. as I'm writing this, and I'm not really capable of doing real research right now, but it's like that mythical creature from ancient Greece that Hercules fought off in the Disney movie that would, every time he cough a head, three heads would sprout off. I think it was a moral about about if you tackle a problem the wrong way, it just makes more problems. I don't know, you to just go look at US foreign policy, I guess. Hey, that's an easy joke. But before we proceed, we should become familiar with this thing called the Harkness Test. Uh, it's going to help us determine our actions. The hardness test is really just sort of this checklist to determine if a species, if a creature that's not of your species is capable of consenting to sex. I don't know, it was... I don't know, it's like a fucking Doctor Who, Milo Pony thing. It's something you use to justify fucking cartoon horses or some shit. I don't know. Basically, if the creature you want to have sex with is, like, too beastly or too young or too insane to consent, then you'll probably face serious consequences if you proceed with trying to have sex with them. So any sound, moral person knows what to do. Anyway, for this scenario, I'll imagine myself to be a heterosexual cisgendered male and Hydra to be female because, well, I like drawing boobs and I just put boobs on it, so there you go. You can feel free to adapt this scenario to your own needs, though you may want to proceed with caution if you yourself are female and the Hydra, this hypothetical Hydra, is a male because while Hentai has shown me that women are basically made of rubber, I'm pretty certain that in real life, uh, you don't work that way. So let's imagine we're out and about and, I don't know, we're going to go to Wendy's and try that taco salad or whatever they decide to call back to the 90s with, you know, to activate that little nostalgia thing in my brain to make me remember my childhood and Super Nintendos and Aerobiz Supersonic and... My parents' divorce. When suddenly you're in, you encounter a five-headed hydra, and as you're of the internet generation, you're probably gonna have to do the hardness test to see whether or not you can fuck it, because it is current year, I guess. So instead of immediately trying to slay the monster, you decide to strike up a conversation with her. Maybe take her over to Wendy's who enjoy a taco salad. I don't fucking know. And uh, you get into a conversation with her, and you notice that, well, she's probably sentient since she's actually talking to you, and she's wearing a University of Minnesota shirt, because that's what I fucking drew. So she's probably of age since she's going to the University of Minnesota. And in your conversation, you find out that, yeah, she's taking Paxil for some, for some anxiety. So I don't think we really have to worry about them being insane or her being insane. 
I don't know her fucking pronouns. Now we get to the hard part. Whether or not it's a good idea to have sex with this Hydra. Well, with other creatures, that's a pretty simple procedure as they only have one head and hopefully only one brain with one personality. But with this Hydra, you have five heads with five different personalities. They each have their own fears, dreams, thoughts, and so on. You can't just hook up with one head and expect the others to, to just agree with it. This is the biggest problem in the way of hot Hydra action. How did they determine how to do anything? Is there a head head? Is this a democratic system? Is it unanimous? First past the post? Single transferable vote? Whatever other videos CGB Grey is making right now? I don't know. Let's say it's a majority vote and four of the heads are totally down the bone. But, what, but one isn't. What do we do now? Well, she's not totally against it. She's just not up for it right now. She just says, well, while you're making out with the, well, doing whatever with the other four heads, she's just going to head off and play some CSGO or something. So you just cross your fingers and hope that in three months she doesn't make a horrible post calling you out on Tumblr. But now we hit another problem. Now you have four different people to try to deal with. And here's another thing. They've got four different kinks. One is in the one thing, the other is in the other thing, one is into some really fucking freaky. It's just, God, there's just, it, it's just, is this really worth it? I mean, is it really worth it to put this on the bucket list? Eh, just, just fuck it, just don't even bother. Just be friends with them, exchange your battle net names, because now you've got a really awesome setup for an Overwatch team. Instead, just go hook up with a unicorn instead. They're pretty easy from what I hear.